This is my quick guide on how to make a simple external LED indicator for your Arducopter APM 2.5. On the board, the main board of your APM, you'll see that there's a blue GPS LED and a red armed LED. Now, for this build, you need two different color LEDs. I've gone for green and red. Piece of strip board, servo extension lead, or just a male JR lead, you don't need the, the female end and a spare male end. Now on the APM there's two outputs, one for the GPS LED and one for the armed LED. So we need two JR connectors. And there's no point in running two sets of wires up to the to the piece of strip board with the LEDs on, we'll, we'll share the ground. So what I do is I take the servo extension, remove the red wire from one plug and add it to the uh, left hand side of the second plug. So when they plug in together we'll have the ground on this end and the red and white are the signal side. So when we put them into the APM board the signal, the ground will go up the single ground wire which will be shared at, at this end and the uh, GPS will go up one of them and the armed signal will go up the other. Right, as for the actual warning board what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece off the end of this strip board so all of the, the strips go across the short length that way the LEDs can go between the strips I join the, the middle ones together to create a shared ground and I'll add the cables in series along it so the ground in the middle then GPS on one side arms on the other side the reason for leaving the bits on the edge which I'll show you when I put the LEDs in I slot these in and leave three blanks on each side. When I cut the board, say here, so I can add the cable, you'll notice there's enough room on each end to put a zip tie around, and it just gives me something to fix it to the frame with. What I will probably do as well is paint the board black after I've soldered, and then um, heat shrink it and some clear heat shrink so it looks a bit tidier. Okay, so let me cut a piece of this board. Just check I've scored the same place on both sides. Right, and then just snap it off. So this is going to be my my board and then what I will do is I'll place one LED here with the flat side in, the negative side in. Same with that one. And then I've still got enough room under here just to mount my, my wires. I may even go down to the next one there. In fact, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put them there, and then I'm going to solder the wires on the back of the board so it looks a bit tidier. Cutters. By the way, I should add these are five volt LEDs, so I won't need to use a resistor. This is five volt output on the APM board. All right, so there we go. So there's my two LEDs on my board. And now I need my cable. I'll just strip these ends. So there's the the ends we're going to solder on. Tighten them up a bit and tin them. That's the end suitably tin. I think just for tidiness, I'm going to shorten and put them on this. These pair of pliers that will hold them nice and tight. So I'm going to tin up this end. Put 
quite a lot of solder on there because I want the two sides to join together. There we go. Excellent. I'll add my ground first. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the red wire go to red, just so I know which one goes to which. And I'm going to make the white wire go to green. And there we go. Right now, I shall plug it into my board and test it out. So bear with me a second and I will move my camera. And here are the LEDs mounted. Uh, I've set it up so the, the red LED is the armed indicator. So when it's flashing, the, the copter isn't armed. And the green LED is a GPS fix. And as you can see, I've, I've got a GPS fix. So that's working absolutely perfectly. So the, uh, the white and black cable are plugged into A6 and the red wire on its own is plugged into A7. Uh, I wish it was that simple, there is one further step. Um, you need to go into your Ardicopter ground control system, go to your advanced settings, the parameter, advanced parameter list, and you'll find there's an option called LED mode. Um, and I'll just check what you have to set that to. I believe it needs to be set to three, and that'll give you the correct outputs. So you'll get one LED flashing or solid for arm, and one LED flashing for or solid for GPS. All right, now I'm going to tidy it up with a bit of black paint and some heat shrink. And here's the finished article, looking pretty sweet. Zip tied onto the arm, facing backwards, so I can see what what's uh, going on. And uh, I'm really happy with that. Thanks for watching, guys.